Ready. Back we are on the road with the next featured match from our TBD Community Creations Tour, pitting original CAWs from the community against my own TBD Creations, as we proudly display our banner there. Hunt or be hunted. This is the mantra of the six foot eight great hunter out of Kiev, Ukraine. This is Krom, everybody. And could a more imposing challenge be marching down to the ring? I sincerely hope he doesn't have to use that ridiculously oversized sledgehammer in this matchup tonight. I've got to give a huge shout out to King Psyduck on the Community Creations page. He is uh, responsible for bringing this beautiful creation to us here. Look at that enormous plaited beard and the mohawk to match. Love the design of this guy. I've been told he is uh, inspired by Craven the Hunter. And I'm certainly getting those vibes, but I think even Craven would be quaking in his boots if he had to step into the ring against the Great Hunter himself. Going under the middle rope there, though I'm sure he could go over the top. And whoever we have to go out and challenge this man, it's going to have to be a strong offering from our TBD Originals if they're going to hope to get a win over this mammoth of a man wearing perhaps the fur of a mammoth on his shoulder there. Right, Tammy Tonga, who have we got? Oh, seriously? There's no way! Oh my god, not this fucking guy! He's gonna find them young Australians and touch them in their private Burn them down the sex piss thing out! Wait, that, okay, first announcer, it's Fernando Dingo! But regardless of that, I cannot believe what's going through the mind of General Manager oh, Tammy Tonga! Traditionally, awesome, these Community Creation Tour yeah. showcases are matched up based on equal overall stats. The Great Hunter, Krom, coming in at a, a whopping overall of 93, and Fernando Dingo somewhere in the 60s, the low 60s. But I guess, perhaps, oh, I understand now. It's a hunt. Great Hunter Krom is hunting Dingo tonight, boys and girls. <laughs> his arms folded there, his beard going all over the place. He doesn't seem very impressed. Oh, I'm quite excited now. This is the first ever live hunt of live game we've had on a TBD episode. And I imagine it might be a bloodbath. Fucking hell, <laughs> look in the eyes of both competitors. Fernando opting to wear his dingo mask in this one. Oh, when he starts off strong with a clothesline. But it doesn't phase Crumb in the slightest. And there you get stabbed down to the mat, Fernando. Oh my word, a big boy sent on to follow up. And Jesus Christ, I'm impressed immediately with the speed of Krom. Not to mention his enormous girth and all of the muscle mass he's carrying, but those big furry boots and tassels would have to weigh you down a little bit too. But Fernando Dingo's weight doesn't seem to be any problem for the great hunter as he hits another big boy sent on onto that sweaty, sweaty vest of Fernando the Sex Pest Dingo. And while I'm disappointed, I was just <laughs> shook there by the height disparity, even with that huge cosplay mask on the top of his head. Crumb standing head and shoulders above Fernando Dingo. Who, to be fair, in his last outing against Travis the Bear Armstrong, Fernando showed a lot more resilience than anyone gave him credit for. But this is going to be a literal and figurative mountain for him to climb. Oh, speaking of climbing... The Great Hunter up to the top rope, what can he be thinking here? Always just beckoning his opponent to their feet. Oh, and he comes off the top rope with a flying shoulder tackle. That's over 300 pounds of just sheer meat flying through the air at you. And that's not going to feel good. Fernando Dingo coming from down under. A little disgusting bogan man from Australia. And he hits down under on the scorecards right now. You've got to believe. Another enormous scoop slam. I'm taken right now by the... Whoa! 
Oh! By the offense of Crumb, who screams up to the heavens. The flair he has in all of his moves. Those guards there, the steel barricades, not giving an inch as he just tosses Fernando Dingo into them. Yeah, the way he delivers those scoop slams, a basic maneuver, but the height and the power that Crumb puts into it makes it just absolutely devastating! Springboards up to the top rope with ease and goes straight into the flying elbow drop. This could be all she wrote right away. Oh, Fernando Dingo just barely managed to slide his slimy shoulder off of the canvas, but the great hunter has had enough. The Hunter launches Fernando Dingo into the stratosphere. And that will be the one, two, three. Crumb making light work of Fernando Dingo here with that scintillating finishing maneuver. The running pounce. Oh, I just noticed that it took a design shaved into his little side fade there. How pretty. But yes, that pounce, it wasn't even running from a standing position this time. The Great Hunter yeeting Fernando Dingo into the cheap seats and as he crashed out to the floor it was obvious that this match was done and dusted such an incredible incredible showing from the great hunter and an incredible work by King Psyduck love the name by the way great reference I think that the great hunter Krom the big man out of Kiev Ukraine could very well be showing up once again in our TBD weekly episodes so if you liked what you saw here then be sure to tune in next time on TBD